Hey guys, welcome back to your second Minecraft modding tutorial for 1.7.10. And as you can see, uh, it looks a little different than what I left it as uh, last tutorial. And there's only a few slight changes that I made. First thing I did is I deleted that source folder we had originally with the with this tutorial mod file. It was um, up top here is like source slash main slash java and then inside it was example mod. I deleted all that and then I moved the example mod contents into its own source folder. So I created this source slash tutorial mod and then net dot tutorial mod dot mod and in here I moved that example mod and I renamed it. So it's more like our mod than the example mod. And once I came in here, the only two things I added were this pre init and post init methods because um, it just had init before, and we're going to be using all three by the end of this series. And I believe that's all. Oh, one more thing. I added a few more packages while they're empty right now. I added this net.tutorialmod.mod.block, and that we'll use in a bit. And then I added one asset assets.tutorialmod.textures.blocks and this is just a PNG image of uh, copper ore which I just made using Pinta which is like paint.net for Mac and yeah we're going to be using that this tutorial because we're going to add this copper ore into the game and the last package I added which is empty is assets.tutorialmod.lang and we're going to add to that in a little bit too but first let's go right here we're in our tutorial mod what is that? Uh, let's close that. We're in our tutorial mod and we're going to say public static block or copper or. And the reason I put or in front of it is just because it tells us that this is an or item or an or block. I know you could probably tell because it says copper or, but this is just for organization. You could name it whatever you'd like and it would work but I like this just to be organized. And you might have to import block, which is net.minecraft.block. After that, we'll go into our pre init, and we'll say or copper or equals new or block material dot rock dot set block name. Set block name copper or. And as you can see, we've got an error here. Uh, it's because we need to create this class, or block. And we're going to make this super class right here. We're going to browse. We're going to type in block net.minecraft.block. Perfect. That's what we need. So we're going to create this or block. But we're going to drag it and move it into our net.tutorialmod.mod.block package and click OK. It's just going to rename the package in here. And we have this error because we need to add our constructor. So we go ahead. I just renamed it because it gives us this weird number and it's not very easy to see what it is. So I just rename material that it passes into material. Now let's set some values. So we'll say this dot set hardness to 3.0 float this dot set resistance to 5.0 float and then this dot set step sound sound type rock what the I'm pretty sure that's how it is change to stone. Ah, uh, that's what it is. Sound type stone. Okay, now we need to make sure we can use this. Since we haven't generated it in the world yet, we'll want to be able to access it through creative. So let's say this dot set creative tab creative tabs dot tab block. And then we'll, oh, okay, you might have to import creative tabs, but mine did it for me which is cool. So now let's let's change this up here. It made this on its own when we created it. We want it to be public or block. So we'll click save. Go back to tutorial mod. And then we'll say game registry dot 
this game registry dot register block. Sorry, just blanked there for a second. Or copper or we'll name it copper or and then before we start we want our PNG or we want the name to display right so we're gonna add a new file to our tutorial mod dot lang we're gonna say en us dot lang and we're gonna say tile copper or dot name equals copper or and that should be it let's click play cross our fingers and hope it works Alright, first thing I'm going to do, I'm going to change the sound. We'll go to 10%. Okay. Now let's go to single player. Let's delete this world. Create new world with cheats. Just so we can go into creative mode. Alright. So here we are. Let's do slash game mode one. Press E. Search copper. Ah, so right now we have the copper. But, whoops, what happened there? A little lag. Sorry about that, guys. Copper. So we have it, and it's named copper ore correctly, but right now it's not setting our texture which we have over here to be that texture okay so let's fix that I'm gonna close out of this we're gonna go back into or block and we're gonna type side only gotta import side only side client looks like it's gonna make me that type the whole thing oh I already have side in here that's why Okay, we're going to say public void register block icons icon register register. Oh, now it wants me to do stuff. All right, import side only. Import icon register. We're going to say this dot block icon equals register dot register icon tutorial mod dot mod id plus plus this dot get unlocalized name dot substring five and the reason we do this is we're just basically telling its block icon to be our tutorial mod colon the unlocalized name substring 5 because the start of the unlocalized name is something we don't want but after five characters we want that because it's like uh, this dot something or item dot something. Oh that's why. It's because it's tile dot blank and we want the thing after the blank. So let's run it now and now we should have our copper ore show up as a texture and not just be that ugly pink and black texture not found. Let's check it out. There we go. We have our copper ore. It says copper ore. It's part of the building blocks tab and we can place it which is pretty cool. We could do all the stuff we can do with regular blocks, like mine it. Yep. Now I'm getting some copper ore. All right, so that should do it for this installment. I know maybe this side-only client thing is a little weird, but this is just the best way to register the icon texture. So just know that this is kind of like a nuance but once you know how to do this it's not that weird so 
I hope you guys learned something. Thanks for watching. In the next tutorial, we'll either do some items or we'll do some smelting or maybe some bo both of that. So stick around. Thanks.